uh, I'm Jean Luinen. I work at uh, Circle, uh, like my uh, colleague before. So now um, I will just show you something which is a bit different than what we discussed uh, this morning. So it's something called Attack, which is uh, a tool uh, developed uh, originally by uh, the Air Force. And uh, the first name was Android Tactical Assault Kit. So the idea is to have uh, um, information dominance against the opponent. So the idea is to share all information regarding the battlefield and uh, different uh, soldiers, I don't know, planes, whatever you could have on the battlefield. Um, drones also, so you share everything. And uh, then, as people can see where they shouldn't be able to see, uh, things like this, and they get dominance. So they developed a tool um, starting in 2016, something like this. So it was uh, an Android application with some server. And the idea is really to share information about where are the friends. So really like in a video game, you know, uh, where are your friends, where are the enemies, where they are spotted. Uh, you get ideas regarding the where you shouldn't go. Um, you can call evacuations. You can um, have map overlays because you have a huge part of the application which is meant to be used for navigation and maps. So you can use Google Maps, Bing Maps, whatever. And on top of that, you can put some overlays. So for instance, if you, uh, I don't know, if people were um, to go inside a building, you could send people into this mission saying, okay, you have this data pack for this mission with map overlays, and then the system allows for adding PDS file, a PDF file or stuff like this on top of the, the map and do the matching between the different layers to, um, uh, in order to be able to navigate uh, inside the building, stuff like this. You can have uh, weather data overlay. Uh, navigation have a lot of uh, twist, like for instance, you can get a line of sight to know if uh, you can be uh, under fire, a view shed also, so know where to go somewhere. Like if you, if you, if you have, like uh, if a soldier were to go somewhere, uh, he can use a few view shed feature to be able to not be seen by the others. Because you have all the elevation data inside, you have also blood on tracking, uh, so it means that you the system is, uh, is able to um, calculate a path for you to meet someone else, or if you have uh, like a moving destination. A lot of things like this. So they developed this. Obviously, uh, it was not public, but it makes actually a lot of a lot of sense. So this is one of the mill application that they had before. So basically, uh, you have the map with uh, the different friends, and you can see a video feed uh, from a drone or whatever this is. And this actually makes sense uh, for the blue light uh, community, so uh, firefight, fight, firefighters, uh, people like that, because uh, they could say, for instance, hey, there's a fire in this mountain, uh, we need a plane to go there, or you could also have rescue missions. So if you have hiker, uh, people somewhere in the mountain, they, they, they broke a leg, something like this, and you can send someone and uh, have those uh, fancy navigation features to help people to get there, to help those guys. So uh, it's uh, it makes sense to open source this to, to everyone. So that's what they did. So uh, they built uh, Attack Sieve or uh, Sieve Tax, that's different names, and uh, it became the Android Team Awareness Kit. So the idea is that uh, it's not mil anymore, but you have this mil version somewhere that they use in, uh, I guess, NATO uh, thing. And uh, so they released this, and uh, you have also, uh, so they started by releasing in, two, in 2020 the Android app, and lately they also released the server side of this. And in the meantime, there were some people who tried to reverse, reverse engineer or actually write some um, open source server for this, so you have different version in Python with a lot, lot of uh, fancy features. So um, you have REST APIs, you have uh, plugins, stuff like this. So what is available? So you have uh, apps for Android, iOS. There is Win WinTAC also for Windows. There is a uh, WebTAP, something like this. So you have different server implementations. Uh, you can share data packages, but then at the moment you only share data packages by whatever means you have. You have a lot of plugins. So for instance, for uh, doing uh, object detection, you can uh, uh, fly uh, drones, stuff like this, through the app. 
And uh, basically, everything works through a protocol which is called the uh, cursor on target. So basically, it's just uh, uh, the position of an object uh, in 3D in space. So you have a lot of fancy features that are uh, available So in the civil version. Uh, so for instance, here you see that you have this camera here, which is a, a video feed from, I don't know, some, some camera somewhere. And you actually see the field of view of this camera on the map. So you could have uh, this for fixed camera like this. But you can also have this for this kind of uh, tools. So this is, I don't know, some kind of hobbyist who built this uh, and use uh, tack with this. And then what happens is that you can actually like uh, go a bit crazy and uh, use the uh, remote control car within the app, see where it is and what it sees. So you can do this with uh, remote control car, for instance, or drones like DJI drones, for, for instance. Uh, so basically all the DJI drones, uh, they work with that. So you can uh, fly the drone. You can also delegate the video feed or the gimbal camera to someone else. Uh, you can put marker on the map, share the markers, uh, things like this. So very useful for, um, for instance, uh, um, like planning events and stuff like this where where, when there is a lot of public. And then with the public, with the plugins, you can have a lot of uh, crazy applications. So, uh, for instance, there is a guy who developed plugins uh, to feed um, ADSB um, beacons into uh, tax servers, and then tax servers will push this to the, the client. So that's what you had basically here. So here you have different planes, and all those planes they are sending ADSB uh, beacons, and then they are put on the map in real time. And you have also AES, so it's just example because there are already uh, dozens of plugins for that. So AES, it's for uh, boats. And there are some very nice features, like for instance, uh, where you can actually take a video feed, map it to the map, and then you have like the live view of the video on the map. Very fancy. So to conclude, it's something which is like very different from, from, from what we, we seen today. I just wanted to show you this because, uh, it's fancy, very, I don't know, like, uh, MacGyver type, uh, <laughs> thing. Uh, so if you want to know more about this, you can go and, uh, see, uh, tag.gov, um, cause now everything is open source. You can see everything. Um, there is also a wiki where they explain everything. There's a Reddit. There is also a Discord, uh, uh, that is a bit crazy also. Uh, now I should put this there. Well, forget about the Discord, but you have all those screenshots. They come from the, the Discord, and um, it's actually quite fun to, to see what those guys are up to. So that's it.